Plus, we are following two breaking news stories. A student hit and killed near a high school in Ann Arbor this morning. But first, a Macomb Township trustee ends up in handcuffs after getting arrested by the FDI right at his own home. Thank you for joining us this noon. Time now to get you updated on this breaking news that we've been following and also keeping you updated on, on our Click on Detroit app. Macomb Township trustee Clifford Friedis is charged with engaging in a pattern of corrupt activity, including demanding and accepting money in exchange for official acts as tr trustee. Our guy Gordon is following this and guy I understand he's going to be in court at one o'clock this afternoon. That's what we expect, Rhonda. We know that federal authorities have said that there is systematic and systemic corruption throughout Macomb County government. This is another example of uh, proving what they have been saying, or at least alleging what they have been saying. This is the uh, criminal complaint against Clifford Freitas, who's been on the township uh, council, the township trustee since 2012. You can take a look at uh, some video. We have the most recent township meeting. This is back on October 12th. That is Freitas second from the left uh, on the township board. Now, uh, we understand from the criminal complaint that was unsealed this morning from the U.S. Attorney's Office that, and here's a, a list of what he is alleged to have done, that he demanded... that he also obtained sensitive bid information and then gave it to the vendor to help them underbid their competitors for that contract. And that later, when this company was successful in getting the contract, he demanded another $35,000. In fact, according to the U.S. Attorney's Office back on May 2016, they have videotape of Freitas accepting a $2,000 cash bribe from an undercover FBI agent. Now, Company A is significant because they say in this criminal complaint that Freitas was an employee of that company. According to his LinkedIn page and other sources, Freitas was employed by Rizzo Environmental Services. That company was connected to another corruption case in Clinton Township earlier and is now known to be cooperating with the investigation. So it appears that Rizzo Environmental Services is now uh, involved in yet another corruption charge. We should be uh, hearing more when that... Uh, Trustee Freitas is arraigned in uh, less than an hour here in Federal District Court. I'm Guy Gordon reporting live. Rhonda, back to you.